We've done the short segments on blocking. Let's do one on punching. Punching is a lot of fun, especially when you are punching and not getting punched. Uh, if you do get punched, go back and do the segments on the blocks, because they'll work. Um, let me borrow my partner right from the get-go here. And... The way we hold this is, you'll notice that he's hugging it, and I'd like to have your arm around a little bit. And the reason is, if his arm, put your arm back in again, if his arm is there and I hit it, he's going to take it right across there, that bone, that bony arm is going to jam back into his chest. But, go ahead and hug it. Now he can take it against there, hug the bottom. Now I just ignore the straps in the back. Now, yes, he does have to take it on the body, but he can dissipate the energy a little bit more. He can learn how to take it just by getting hit. And of course, you, you know, don't hit too hard, learn how to do it, yak and yak. Uh, when you punch, the idea is, of course, they have you train, and that's the classic way of doing it, deep stance, and you know, the whole class is doing it. It's great, great energy. When you punch somebody, however, you don't want to rotate your wrist too much unless you're doing something specific. Because as it's rotating, it's unstable. And if you're impacting and actually hitting some fabric, you can actually sit there and twist some of the skin right off your knuckles. I've actually done that on bags. It's uh, very painful and not nice. You don't want to train with pads because that's not what you're going to wear in the street. I know that the theory is wear pads and then on the street, it's okay, you've done your training. No, no, no. Train the way you're going to be on the street. So that's the way I hit on the street. I just go like that. I'm like this, and it's boom. And you'll notice that I've got somewhat impact here. Well, I'm not moving much, but right here, push on me. Just run at me. Boom. And what he's doing is he's running right down my body. And this is why I practice my stances, and this is why you do your forms. Boom. So I'm generating, and I'm using that power, a slight twist, just enough to line the hips up. And you'll notice that he's going back, he doesn't want to stay. And of course, lead hand should be for jabbing, and well, that's, that's nice to think about, but the truth of the matter, either hand should be able to knock the guy back. And the idea here is that I'm getting my body weight into it. You'll notice that I'm starting to move on him. So, boom, and I'm loose, and I'm tight. Loose. Tight. Loose. And I just, it's a real mental exercise. Tight. I'm actually, I only tighten up right in that last, there, there it is, right there. Inch or two. That's where the body meets the weight. That's where the weight goes up the arm. Boom. 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 So, here you'll see I turn the hips. So when you're doing a block, it sets you up for the strike. You go back, and that sets the spring motion of the leg. So you go back for the block, in for the strike. One, two. But the idea here is that when you strike something, you must sink the weight down the back leg. You must have the body aligned properly. If you don't have that, your punch is not going to have it. You must get used to moving weight. He's not a 70-pound bag. The guy in the street won't be a 70 pound bag. He's going to be a 200 pound doofus that wiggles all sorts of different ways. Bag work is fine if that's all you got, but always try to train with a partner. Boom. Boom. Don't hit him too high. It goes up into his face. Try to hit him right there. You can do, you can, you know, bring up different bags and stuff for higher strikes, lower strikes, but the idea is that behind every strike, I want to be able to move, what do you weigh, 170? Mm -hmm. I want to be able to move 170 pounds. I don't want to move 20 pounds. I don't want to move 50 pounds or 70 pounds. I want to move 170 pounds every single time. And I don't want to go, whoa, so that if I miss, I'm out of position. Which, you, you, you'll notice that sometimes it happens on UFC, uh, MMA type stuff. They miss and, and they're gone, they're open. It's a different type of fight. And the other guy is not fighting the short shot like I'm fighting either. So, boom. Boom. And that should just about do it. The only thing I do, I want you to rewatch this tape. 
and take a look at the fact that I'm never really going, ah! I'm not energizing and beefing up or getting all rigid. All I'm doing is sitting there, drawing that mental line, physical line, boom, drawing the energy out and popping them. It should be relaxed. It should be effortless. You don't have time to get all, you know, and use your muscles. All you want to do is line that body up and move the weight into it. Very, it doesn't take a lot of weight, an inch or two, an inch or two, but that's all it takes. That in practice. You know, do it a thousand hours. Don't do it for a, a year and think you're good. Do it for ten years and realize you're not good. Just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And get used to moving weight. That is the real secret behind any punch, any real punch. Good. Ten. Oh, and you should probably take a look at the Matrix karate tape or uh, the uh, Master Instructor because that has all of the information. This is just a little bitty one-tenth of one percent. So check out those tapes. They're on my website.